Killbill supports plugins, which means you can write code to modify or extend the behavior of Killbill. We already provide dozens of open source plugins that are readily available, but in this video, I'll show you how to write your own in Ruby. At its core, a Ruby plugin is just a gem, which depends on the Killbill gem. Among features, the Killbill gem provides rake tasks to package your gem and its dependencies into the plugin format expected by Killbill. The package task, for instance, will create a tarball similar to the ones that we provide on Maven Central. The deploy task can be handy for local development, as it will sync your plugin files to a bundled deployment directory. Just run the task and restart Killbill to have your changes take effect. So what can you do in your plugin? Killbill actually supports various plugin types. The easiest type to implement is a notification plugin. It inherits from the notification class and has a single method to implement, on event. This method is invoked each time an event is sent on the Killbill bus. The event will contain its type, as well as the account and tenant IDs of the affected object. Inside your plugin, you have access to all of Killbill public APIs. You can use the account ID to retrieve the account object, for instance. Or if the event is for a new subscription, you can retrieve it using the object ID of the event. Take a look at the Killbill gem wiki on GitHub for more advanced examples. Another type of plugin is an invoice plugin. It will be invoked during the creation of an invoice, right before persisting the object to the database. Again, you only need to implement a single method get additional invoice items, which returns additional items if needed. As shown, this can be used to calculate tasks, for example. A more advanced plugin is a currency plugin. It is used to compute exchange rates by looking up an ex external service, for instance. This time, five methods need to be implemented to return current and historical rates as well as supported currencies. Finally, the most complex plugin type is a payment plugin. It is used to integrate with a payment gateway. Such plugins are more complicated because they need to implement various methods for payment and payment methods management. Fortunately, if the gateway is supported by Active Merchant, the Killbill gem has a built-in generator to implement most of the code. I hope this gives you an overview on how you can extend Killbill. If you need further help writing your own plugin, drop us a note on our mailing list.